What's happening guys? My name is Anthony and in today's video I've got another session with Zhou Guan Yu. This time we're hoping that we can beat him in the championship. So smash the like button if you enjoy this video. Let's get straight into it. So for the first race we have Kota starting in P4 with Zhou starting in P3. These are custom grid slots. Uh, for the first race it's random and then after that if you're in the top three in the championship you move down to the back of the grid. Going into the first corner, I thought people were going to send it, but they didn't, so it was a pretty clean turn one. However, reality sets in. This is an open lobby after all, and uh, the Alpine gets clipped, and I get dragged along with the Aston Martin as well, and pretty much nothing happens after that. Joe actually ends up winning this race whilst we finish in, uh, I believe, P10? No, we have a penalty, so I, I don't know if we're going to finish in P10. I can't actually remember. As we cross the line, let's see where we finish. Yeah, we finish in a, in a P10. So only one point here, and we've lost a lot of points to Zhou. But moving on to the second race, we have Suzuka, which went a little bit better than Kota did. Getting a good start there in P8 as we uh, try battle with Harry in the Alpine to see if we can get past him into the first corner. We do get clipped a little bit, but that wasn't Harry's fault. We were three wide as other people are getting sent into the Shadow Realm. And speaking of getting sent to the Shadow Realm, as we uh, go through the S's here, you can see that Seal has been absolutely sent into the Shadow Realm. Feels so bad for him, but it gives us an extra position, so who cares, right? And as we move into the second sector now, you're about to see some more people getting sent to the Shadow Realm as I'm looking behind me to see if Zhou Guan Yu is going to go for any sort of moves. He doesn't, but we sense an opportunity going into the hairpin. Harry actually leaves the door open, so we go down the inside here, but we are banging wheels. However, we make the move stick and we go around the outside uh, for this flat out corner, and that's Harry dispatched. And now we have our next victim, Hayden, who gets clipped by the Williams here and somehow doesn't actually get sent to the Shadow Realm. I'm not sure how that happened, how he managed to avoid that. You can see from the Delta that he's still there as Flexi gets past us in the final chicane. So clearly Hayden has got some extra grip assistance that he's using in these open lobbies. So I'm not a big fan of that. So uh, Hayden, explain yourself, please, uh, as we defend from him in the first corner. And just flow, following Flexi now, trying to get that move. But Flexi is actually pretty quick. Um, so it was... Uh, Pretty hard to follow him but he does make a mistake there and he ends up going in the gravel that allows us to get past him and yeah yeah we could just continue on our way we've got a teammate ahead of us with gal who absolutely left the building when we were all battling with each other in the first lap he's now seven seconds ahead and we do catch up a little bit to gal but obviously it was nowhere near enough as he finishes the race in first and we finish in second with Zhou Guan yu not even scoring a point so yeah completely washed driver couldn't be my driver. But anyways, we move on to Bahrain now, starting towards the back of the grid. Well, actually, no, towards the middle, sorry, in P12. We get a pretty good start as we pass Woods off the line there, off the rip. And we're going into the first corner. We know that there's, there's going to be some people who send it. One of those people is actually Zhou Guan Yu, sending it out of nowhere. He ends up taking out his own teammate as we collide with each other as well. So, yeah, again, not my not my driver, Joe. Like, I can't believe you're doing stuff like that on the track, man. You wouldn't do that in real life, would you? Uh, <laughs> as we continue on now sending it up the inside is joe again and we're going three wide into that corner and joe actually gets the benefit from that as we lose a little bit of time and as we get to turn 10 we get clipped from behind by someone and yeah we get spun around so not a good start for us in Bahrain. and to be honest not much happened after that other than us overtaking this alpha tori on the final lap uh, we, we do send it down the inside because we we're going to go around the outside but he closes the door last minute we do leave him room on the exit we, we do close the door enough just to compromise his exit he does have four seconds of time penalty so we are going to pass him either way but he actually goes down the inside for turn 12 here collides with us a little bit which forces us to go wide and yeah we, we didn't get a warning for that obviously it's five lappers so it doesn't really matter all too much uh, and yeah that's pretty much where we're gonna finish in terms of on track as seal takes the victory so having a much better race here than he did at bahrain as hayden gets spun out in the final corner not sure what happened there but we cross the line and we end up in p10 once again so at least we got a point there with Zhou Guan Yu finishing in p8 for this race so next up we have a familiar track in these open lobbies we have the red ball ring starting in p2 let's see if we can redeem ourselves for last time because the last time we were battling for the win when we spun on the final lap so yes again starting in p2 we do defend from the mclaren who got a slightly better start from us and that's pretty much how it remains for the next couple of laps the top three alpha tori followed by myself and the mercedes followed by the mclaren we're going into turn three he takes a tighter line which means he gets a 
pretty bad exit and we use that momentum to actually make the move here we've got enough ERS we've got the DRS and it's easy pickings for us as we go down into turn four taking a little bit of a tight line ourselves just in case one of them goes for the send they don't luckily for us and as we skip to lap five now it was around about here where we spun and I'm gonna show you guys what happened just in case you missed the previous video you turn five he's gonna have an advantageous position here because he's on an inside line which means at some point we're gonna have to back out which we do going into turn six we go around the corner don't know what happens here and we just spin we didn't even hit the curb like i thought I so yeah that's what happened is it gonna happen again we actually do clip the curb this time however we don't spin this time and that's pretty much giving us the win as we cross the check of like winning and redeeming ourselves from what happened in the previous video with Zhou Guan Yu once again not even finishing in the top 10 not scoring any points there so as we go into Abu Dhabi now you can see we are on P1 in the championship We've got Yas Marina so we're pretty much starting from the back the other guy who's behind us joined after the fact so we're pretty much starting from last we get a decent ish start overtaking at least two people I think before we go into turn one we're on the outside here so we get a bit more momentum as we carry more speed around however ooh, we can see the Alpine there he took out a couple of people which made life so much easier for us we make a couple of positions there as we go down into the hairpin and as we move on towards the end of the first lap now we're behind our teammate Harry who switched teams what a traitor to Alpine and to be honest he does get his karma here because speaking of the Alpine the Alpine ends up colliding with the Aston Martin which collides <laughs> into Harry and if he didn't swap teams he would have been in that Alpine car and he wouldn't have experienced karma at its finest so Harry you got to take that L bro and yeah that was that was pretty funny but as we move on to lap four now battling with Hayden or Big Guns Gullis not a nickname that I gave him I think he actually gave that to himself which just to be honest speaks volumes uh, but we're trying to get p7 now by passing him he doesn't have any ers and we actually have like 40 percent still with the rs as well so it should be an easy move as we're gonna have a lot more straight line speed we're ahead going into the hairpin but he sends it into the hairpin collides with us and we actually end up spinning which has which actually cost us some decent points in the race so yeah we end up finishing p12 we probably would have finished in p7 maybe even p6 there so yeah hayden kind of screwed us in that race but as we move on now to the final race of this session and usually what they like to do is do one shot qualifying for the final session so you can see it's silverstone going into turn one flat out in eighth gear again turn two flat out in eighth gear breaking as the curb starts for turn three down into fourth gear taking a little bit too much curb there uh, but we didn't really lose too much time there and then for turn for turn four we get a pretty decent exit there so it's, it's not too bad of a, of a first sector but obviously it's not ideal because we're not using uh, custom setups we're using just one default setup for for the entire lobby so yeah pretty decent first sector uh, however we still need to make up quite a bit of time as i believe we're in p4 p3 in the standings at this point so we want to start on pole to get the best possible position so we can hopefully win this championship as i said this is a final race and i do believe it's a battle between me and flexi i don't think it's a i don't think it's in between anyone else actually now that i think about it going into maggots and beckett's now taking these corners pretty well actually i was surprised that i managed to get the car turned in you can see we do understeer a little bit going into chapel but still forgivable we actually go purple in the second sector making our way now down to Stowe it's a really quick corner but you have to break deep into the corner which means it's easy to lock up we don't actually do that carrying a lot of speed there fifth gear don't go wide and we're still p1 going into the final chicane but we do lose that for a couple of seconds there as flexi actually passes us we get a better exit but flexi's still ahead of us who's gonna actually cross the line first we cross the line with a 28-2 and we secure pole position and i believe it was flexi behind us and then Zhou Guan Yu behind him so as we've got five red lights it slides out and away we go for the final race in this session who's going to win the championship is it going to be me is it going to be flexi is it going to be someone else entirely let's find out getting a pretty good start here we're still p1 going into turn one and turn two but going into turn three flexi he does shove us a little bit wide there but all's fair and hard racing uh, we do send it up the inside going into turn four trying to get as best of an exit as we can but he was around the outside which means he does have more uh, momentum he can get on the throttle a little bit sooner as well so yeah he gets past us there and now we have Zhou Guan Yu behind us who does tend to send it a lot but this time he actually doesn't now we was expecting him to send it and because of that we end up understeering and losing a little bit of time to flexi and now we're on the final lap now we did lose quite a lot of time we were outside of DRS at one point but we managed to claw our way back into DRS 
uh, territory. And as we go for the stow for the final time now, or towards stow, I should say, for the final time now, we have DRS. Are we actually going to be able to overtake him? We don't have any ERS ourselves, so it's getting closer. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We go around the outside, and that was my mistake. I should have absolutely sent it up the inside, and maybe would have been, we would have been able to push him wide and secure the victory there. But we don't. We tried to go around the outside. It just didn't work. We didn't have the speed or the momentum to do that. And Flexi defends the position. He crosses the line in P1, and he wins the championship. We did beat Joe this time, though, so I'm happy with that. At least... I I can say that in the championship on f122 we managed to be a formula one driver so i hope you guys did enjoy this video uh we finished in p2 with gal in p3 joe actually finishes in p5 as well so yeah maybe maybe alpha romeo should assign me instead of joe guan yu i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this video smash the like button if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys in my next video